And Heather Mountain is with us now. And Heather, our hearts are with you. I am so sorry for your loss. Thank you, Savannah. And it is a tremendous loss. You and I have been talking this morning yeah. about Sunny. It wasn't just a loss for me. It's a loss for the world and our community. I know you feel that he saved your life yes. in those moments. <laughs> he, uh, when we realized that gunshots were going off and that it wasn't just fireworks like everybody thought, I said, let's get down. And he said, no, we, we'll get trampled, let's go. And he wrapped his arms around my back. And as we started to run, I felt him get shot in the back. <laughs> and we fell to the ground. The saddest story I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I can't fucking follow that. At that point, there was still gunfire all around us, and people were lying on the ground. And I tried to perform CPR on him on the field. You're a doctor. Yeah. You're a surgeon. Yes. <laughs> Did you know in your heart right then? As it progressed on, I did. As I was giving him CPR, he began to bleed from his mouth, and I was just screaming for somebody to help me. And somebody finally did come help when the gunfire stopped. Somebody helped you get to the hospital? Yes, um, I don't know who they were, but a, a man ran out and put Sonny over his shoulder and ran across the field. He was put in the back of a pickup truck with two other victims and he performed CPR on Sonny the entire way to the hospital. Wow. And they stayed with you there? They stayed with me the entire time. Uh, we were on lockdown in the hospital and they stayed by my side. I, I don't know their names. I was in too much shock to, to even ask, but I'm very grateful that I wasn't left alone. Because you're not from here. You guys no. are from Tennessee. We're from a small town in Tennessee. And I want to talk about you and Sonny because what a love affair right. you had. You, you were newlyweds. You yes. just married a year ago. Right. Yes, um, I, I don't know. I mean, it was a love that I had never experienced before. It was the kind of love that fills you up every single day. We loved being together, and people felt how much we loved each other. And I will carry that with me forever. I don't know that I'll ever experience that kind of love again. <laughs> Were worth every minute. He was a nurse, yes. and you recently started working together. You're the surgeon, and he was your surgical nurse. Right. <laughs> so, but he was my surgical assistant in the operating room, and it just gave us the opportunity to be together. And, and we had a lot of enjoyment in, in that. What kind of person was Sonny? I think anybody who ever met Sonny described him as just the most sincere, warm-hearted, caring person. He could walk in a room and smile, that infectious smile, and people just really felt that he cared for them. I got dozens of letters from patients that he had cared for while he was an ER nurse and an ICU nurse that just praised how he cared for them and their families. Wow. And how are you doing, Heather? I mean, how, I don't know, how do you even begin to bear this grief? Nobody teaches you how to, to do this. Life um, just happens, and I don't know. I mean, I feel like at this point, it's just almost breath by breath. Sometimes you feel like you can't breathe, and other times you just cherish the moments that you had together. But I have a very supportive family, and so did he, and we all have to get through this. Our community has to get through this. And I want to say you're here. It's not easy for you to be here. You're here for him. You, you felt it was important. Absolutely. I didn't want to do this at all, and, but I did not want the negative person to outshine the good souls that were lost. And I wanted the world to know how good Sonny was. My son t said to me, Mom, Sonny's an international hero. And sh he said, well, he was always our hero before this even happened. Mm -hmm. So this didn't just happen that one night. But he knows that his mother was saved by Sonny. And now the world is. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for being here. I appreciate it. Much love. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, a lot of really just heartbreaking stories. Um, <laughs> and a lot of stories of heroism, and I'm glad we're focusing on them.
Yeah, Savannah, I'm not sure that Heather can hear us, but please pass along our deepest sympathies to her from all of us here. We love you, Heather. Thank you. I think she hears you. Right. Thank you. The saddest story I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, I can't fucking follow that. I can't follow that. I fucking... I was pissing myself before we went into it. <laughs>